So this video is about the statue behind me, which is a statue of Charles II. It's located just off Free Clocks Lane, which is quite near to the Cathedral Close. Now, Charles II um, is not a particularly well-known monarch, I think, in most people's experiences, but he has a reputation for being something of a playboy monarch, uh, going to the theatre, lots of different girlfriends, never having any money, that sort of thing. Now, interestingly, Charles actually had quite a fundamental piece of involvement in the transatlantic slave trade. He was crowned in 1660, he had been an exile for many years before, and um, even after he was crowned, he was always short of cash. And it's interesting that only a few months after he was crowned, he and a number of members of his family and a number of merchants in London established something called the Royal African Company. And that company was set up to trade initially gold from West Africa, but very quickly it expanded its remit to trade enslaved people from West Africa to British colonies in the West Indies. And whilst it was in operation, it transported somewhere in the region of 150,000 people to British colonies in the West Indies. Now over time, Charles improved its monopoly, so he stopped other merchants from engaging in the slave trade. And he also gave the ships of the Royal African Company the protection of the Royal Navy. And he himself profited directly from its earnings. So what Charles did was he basically used the British state to officially monopolize the taking of enslaved people and the selling of enslaved people for his own personal profit. So what would be really interesting to know is, is this something you knew about Charles previously? Does it change how you think about him? Were you even aware we had a statue of Charles II? Any comments or thoughts, please send them to racecommission at gloucester.gov.uk.